Hi guys, this is Ricky and I got bored so I decided to remove the heat sink from the Walk Snail VTX. I just used a little hobby knife and I think I scratched the chip a little bit but it did fine. It got my weight to 23 grams exactly. I think if I used all of the peak screws for the motors I think I could get underneath 23 grams but I, I don't see any reason to. I think it flies fantastic. Um, here I am just flying around my house. I was never able to get all the way around my house and not have any static with an analog system. Here you can see the video quality is crystal clear. Um, the bit rate doesn't even go down until I am the farthest away from the um, video receiver, which is right here. I'm not even facing the patch antennas. They're, they're actually facing um, north, which is the way I'm going. So um, literally the worst possible reception I can get and the video quality is perfect. This is exactly how I thought the um, FPV was always supposed to be. So I can just fly around these trees. It's not loud. I'm not bothering anybody. The other thing I did is I ordered these Tattoo 300 milliamp one cell, the square packs, I guess. I guess they're supposed to be the, the better battery pack. And um, I don't really have anything to gauge them against because the Beta FPV 300 milliamp batteries I was using, um, they were several years old. So by the end of the my two minute flights, they were hovering around 3.2 volts. Um, sometimes if I punched out a little bit, they would go to under 3.1 and the video would cut out. Here you can see the, um, the battery level doesn't even get below 3.5 volts um, after two minutes. So I think I did a pretty good job of um, virtually calculating the current draw because I never could get it to work quite right. But after about two minutes, I'm still over 3.5 volts. And um, I think these batteries are fantastic. Hope you enjoyed the video.